Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan, and today I'm doing a weekend in my life. So it's June 29th right now, and it's Saturday. I'm getting ready right now. It's like 8.30ish, and I've just been kind of sitting outside reading this morning. I'm reading 1984 by George Orwell because I have to read it for my AP Lit class I'm taking next year. And I have to like write an essay. So yeah, I've been trying to get through it. It's honestly kind of boring, and like, it just feels like... I'm reading so much and then I look and I realize I've only read like five pages and then I get sick of reading after like five pages so it's, it's a work in progress we're getting through it though I'm like on page 200 out of 300 so I'm like two-thirds of the way there which is good but I've been literally reading it for like a week it feels like I don't know it's kind of a struggle but we're getting through it tomorrow's actually my sister's graduation party and so today i have a ton of stuff to do to kind of get ready for it because my mom's is are working till four today and they also work tomorrow till two which for some reason my mom is having everyone come at three like her party's at three and they work till two so they're probably not gonna get home till like 2 20 and then if people come early it's gonna be just like i don't know why she cut it so close with that but I'm just gonna have to get most of it ready, I guess, while they're at work and stuff. I'll be back. All right, my teeth are brushed, but yeah, so today I'm just gonna have to bake cookies and prep like the veggies and fruit because we're gonna make like a veggie tray. And so I might cut up some of the veggies, although I might just do that tomorrow, I think. That'd be smarter. And then I could do the fruit tomorrow too, but I might just do the fruit today. I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely have to bake cookies. That's so like definitely have to do that and then tonight we have to like bring up some tables and get them set up outside we're really hoping it doesn't rain it's supposed to storm i think tomorrow and we're planning to do it outside so let's pray for nice weather i think about like 20 people are coming i'm kind of dreading it honestly because i feel like i get so anxious when like all these like people are gonna be here and it's like the most random group of people like it's like some family our neighbors it's like nobody really knows each other it's gonna be kind of awkward i feel like the only people that are actually gonna know everyone is me my mom and my sister like i have so much pressure to like interact with everyone like i don't know what to say to these people <laughs> like a lot of these people it's like we see them like once every year like it's gonna be an interesting event to say the least but it's okay try to stay with my friend and like sister's friend yesterday i had work i worked the past like i worked so much actually this week i worked like almost every day but i'm off all week next week because there's no events at the catering place i work at i, don't, I wouldn't even call it a catering place i don't know what to call it i work as a server they do like events and stuff and they don't have any events next week so I don't have to work at all, which is great. But I do have to work with my uncle on Monday and Friday, but I'll have like so many days off. I'm so excited because I've just been nonstop working. It's been insane. So I'm very excited to just relax. Okay, now that I did my skincare and everything, I'm gonna go and make some breakfast. It's pretty nice out today. It's like not too hot. I mean, it's also the morning, so it's probably gonna get a little warmer, but I don't think it's supposed to be super hot today, which is nice. Yes, Yesterday was so nice. It was like cool out. So hopefully today is similar. Hopefully tomorrow on her graduation party day, it'll just be nice like this. But I, I haven't checked the weather recently. I don't know if it's supposed to rain. Last time I checked it was. Let's check again. Also guys, I recently got Carmex. Never tried it before until now. And like my lips are so dry right now. I don't know why my lips have been so chapped. It might be the heat or like coming in now, honestly. But I actually like it. Let's check the weather. Yeah, it is still supposed to rain. It's 6 p.m. Okay, so maybe we'll be fine. It's supposed to rain tonight. We probably shouldn't really set up anything outside. It's gonna rain tomorrow at like 6-ish. Hopefully everything goes well, but who knows. All right, so let's go make some food. My mom literally made me a checklist of things I need to get done. Well, not just me, but like we all have to get done, but I'm mostly gonna try to do a lot of it since they're working and stuff. This is my to-do list. Well, some of it. I actually don't have to do all this. And then also, here's our current setup. Here's the one table. I think we're gonna just put a bunch of the food on here. Here we have this table for some people to like sit at and eat, because I don't think we have enough seats outside. We also got a new addition outside. We got an umbrella so that we can open it and have that table shaded so some people can sit there. People can sit here and then we're gonna bring up another table to put like right here i think or we might put it down there i don't know but i really love the new umbrella and i also put my chair back over there 
because now I can use the umbrella when it gets sunny over here. It used to be over here. I don't know if I even ever showed that, but we switched it. It was there at first, then we moved it here, but now it's back there. So our fridge is currently so stuffed, like to the brim. We have so much like produce because I have to like make a whole fruit bowl and whole veggie tray and everything. Also, this is literally our milk is in here because the milk, it was like in a cardboard type container thing, carton. I dropped it on the floor the other day and like it didn't even break. I thought it was going to, but it, I didn't think it did because nothing like spilled out. But then I put it back in the fridge and later my sister went in the fridge and it, I guess like part of the bottom part broke and it, there was like milk just like all seeping out everywhere. <laughs> so it's now in that thermos. So that's our life hack. <laughs> Best breakfast in the world. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've also got my egg, of course. Okay, so I was planning to make brown butter chocolate chip cookies, so I didn't even have the butter softening because when you make brown butter, you just put it in a pot and it melts. I just realized that the recipe only makes like 16 cookies and I feel like my mom's gonna want more than that. So I'm actually just gonna make regular, like a regular chocolate chip cookie recipe. It makes like 30 some cookies. Now I have to wait for this to soften. And I would've put this out before I left on the walk with my dog. If I had realized I was gonna make these really annoying, but I'm actually just gonna put them outside because that's my life hack. Cause it'll soften them quicker. I actually have other stuff that I need to get done in the meantime. So I think I'm gonna clean. My mom wants to vacuum, I think this whole room. And she also wants to clean both the bathrooms. So I'm gonna do that. Cause now I know how to clean because now that I work for my uncle, I've cleaned a lot of bathrooms, so I think I'll be able to do that, so we're gonna do that. I think I'm actually gonna just clean the bathrooms and then do the vacuuming later. I feel like I should just vacuum this tomorrow. We're still walking in and out today. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm gonna start by cleaning the bathroom. So fun. I don't really have the same cleaning supplies though that I have when I clean with my uncle. So like, I don't know what my mom uses really, but I'll just look around and find some products. All right, so here's the before. Dusty up here. That's that. We also need to get towels. They haven't been down here in forever. I'm gonna like dust and clean the toilet and everything. My Alexa will not stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, pause. Oh my god. I told Alexa volume zero. That's the only way I could get her to stop. But here's the after of the bathroom. It's nice and clean. I wiped everything down. I'm gonna vacuum in here, but I'm gonna go clean the upstairs bathroom now. All right, it's been about an hour. Both the bathrooms are clean. I just have to vacuum them, but I wanna start the cookies and then while the cookies are baking, I'll vacuum them real quick. But the butter has been sitting outside for like an hour, so it's definitely very soft, so that's good. So let's get bacon. This is the recipe I'm using. It's called the best chocolate chip cookie recipe ever. I'll link it below. First, we need to preheat the oven to 375. Mix the flour, baking soda, salt. First, we're gonna do dry ingredients in this bowl. Three cups of flour, oh my gosh. It's a good thing we bought more flour yesterday because this definitely would not be enough. Oh wait, I'm gonna spoon it. I feel like when I spoon and then level my flour, it turns out a lot better. It's like what you're supposed to do, I'm pretty sure. So I think it actually works. One cup. Oh wait, I was gonna answer questions while I did this because I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. So I need to go get my iPad. Two cups. I need to get more flour. Okay, I'm gonna get my iPad so I can answer some questions. Three cups of flour. And thank you like to the two people who single-handedly are carrying this whole Q&A because only two people <laughs> submitted questions, but they both submitted like a bunch. So thank you for that. I'm gonna answer these. Let me just get the baking soda. First question is what made you want to start a YouTube channel? I've always just been like so into watching YouTube and then I just, I've always liked making little fake vlogs. Like I would constantly walk around my house and like make fake videos and all this stuff. And so I was like, you know what? Like my mom, I've asked my mom so many times if I can make a channel and she always says no and she still says no. Like she doesn't even know about this channel. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna make one anyway in secret. 
So I started the channel and I just, I don't know. I love filming, I love editing. I love everything about it and I really wish. I don't know. Did I just do a teaspoon or half a teaspoon? What did I just use? Now I gotta rewatch the video. One second. Okay, I think I did the right amount. Anyway, back to the question. Yeah, I just have always loved filming and making videos and I wish I could just be a YouTuber for the rest of my life, but clearly I do not. Like I would not make a living off of this based on the amount of subscribers or views I get, which is totally fine. Like I'm not in it for that or anything, but I do wish this could just like be my life. Like I just, I don't know. I wish I could do this for a living. Okay, next question is, how do you manage YouTube school and work? I feel like I would be stressing all the time. I mean, honestly, it is a lot, but right now it's obviously summer, so I don't have school, which has been nice. But when I do have school, I usually don't have like, I haven't really had work on top of that yet, besides working with my uncle here and there, but like I haven't had an actual like job yet while in school so we will see how i'll manage to balance it all i don't know hopefully i'm not too overwhelmed i'm a little bit stressed about it though i mean youtube i feel like comes naturally like i just film my days so it's not necessarily like a lot of work it does take up a lot of time i guess like editing but like I'll always do YouTube and I'll always spit it in because I enjoy it so much. But with the whole work and school thing, I don't even know. I'm only going to be going to school next year till, like, I'm only going for two classes. So it shouldn't be as much. Actually, three classes. So it's not like a full day of school. So I think I can hopefully manage to fit work in. Like, during the school year, work, I'll probably only work really on the weekends. And then, like, maybe sometimes after school. But we'll see. I'll make it work. It is a lot, but I don't stress about it. It too much because if anything like if I don't have time to film then I don't film like it's not that big of a deal I mean I've always made time to film because I feel like filming as I said it just like happens like I just like doing it and I can do it while I'm like attending school not at school but like I don't know how to explain it but I try my best okay all the drying greens are mixed so we gotta get the butter out okay next question is favorite dessert Ooh, I don't even know. I mean, if you're talking about on a daily basis, like I usually always eat a yogurt bowl as like my dessert snack thing at night. If you're talking just like dessert food, I feel like probably ice cream or like soft serve, like custard, or I love frozen yogurt. I just like like ice cream, like ice cream, cust custard, or frozen yogurt, that type of thing. Two sticks of butter. Oh, it's supposed to be salted butter. I did unsalted. Okay, it said unsalted at work. Okay, butter and sugar. I need my mixer. I feel like as I'm talking and doing this at the same time, it's really slowing me down. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm really bad at multitasking. Next question is dream place to visit. I definitely want to go to like, honestly, anywhere out of the country, but I really want to go to Italy. Isn't Rome in Italy? I think it is, yeah. I really want to go to Italy, Europe, anywhere in Europe, honestly. Like, I just want to go anywhere. France. I'll do anything. I just definitely Italy is a big one. All right, we're going to mix this. And I also really want to go to California and Hawaii. So, that's the butter. One cup of white sugar. Someone said, do you ever get mad? Um, yeah. <laughs> I swear, it seems like you never do. You always seem so chill. Oh my gosh. Trust me, I get mad. I get in my mood. I'm never filming during that, so that's probably why I seem like I'm always like not mad, but trust me, I have my moments. I do get mad quite a bit. But I feel like lately I've been like trying to work on that. Like I used to be like a very, I don't know, I was like going through it. So I was like a very angry person, I feel like at one point, but I'm trying to be more positive lately, I feel like, so. And in my videos, I try to be like, I'm not like putting on a front or anything, but I'm never really filming when I'm like in a bad mood. And I want my videos to be like positive and like fun to watch. Like I don't want to be like complaining and like mad, you know, when I'm filming. So it might seem like I'm always super peppy, happy, but trust me, I have all the emotions just like everyone else. Okay, that's one cup of flour or sugar. I feel like I'm going to mess something up because I'm trying to like talk and do this at once. Light brown sugar. Guys, this could be really bad. I don't think we have light brown sugar. And I meant to buy it. We only have like that much. Hold on, let me search. This is a problem. 
Hold on, let me text my mom. I'm just gonna use dark brown sugar and we're gonna pray for the best. Cause I was looking it up and it says like you can like interchange them. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna taste quite right, but oh well, this is also hard as a rock. So I have to soften it somehow. This is a mess. I got about almost a half cup, but not quite. All right, I'll be back after we figure this out. We got our light and dark brown sugar mixture. Please. Don't taste awful. <laughs> okay, next question is, how tall are you? You seem tall at times. I am 5'3", so I'm definitely not like tall. Like, I'm pretty short. I'm like average, I guess. I think 5'4 is the average for a female. I don't even know, but I'm 5'3 exactly when I went to the doctor's last, which was not long ago. So yeah, not tall, but not like super short. I'm pretty short though. Like, I, I don't know. The eggs, I already cracked these. There's like some chunks of sugar, brown sugar. I'm gonna try to break them up a little bit. This is such a mess. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Next question is a sport you wish you could play. I don't know. I'm pretty content with just playing tennis personally. I don't really care to play any other sports. I don't know, maybe field hockey. Cause when we did that in gym class, it was actually pretty fun. But we didn't really do it the right way. We just kind of like hit it around. I didn't know any of the rules, but it was pretty fun. I'm not a big fan of contact sports though. So like, I just like tennis. <laughs> like you're not really like up against the other team or anything. It's more chill. So I just like playing tennis. <laughs> There's so many clumps of brown sugar. I need to like mash them up. An instrument you wish you could play. I used to play the violin and I wasn't great at it or anything. But I did play that. I wish I could play either the piano or maybe like a guitar. Have you ever gotten in a fight? I mean, no. Well, do you mean like a physical fight? Cause no, definitely not. I am not, I hate fighting. Oh my God, I hate it like so much. Like violence actually makes me sick. When people are fighting at school and stuff like, oh my gosh, I hate that. It makes me so sick. So I would never be caught in a fight. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if you're talking about a fight with like words, then definitely. Okay, all time favorite movie. My all time favorite movie is Murder Mystery. It's on Netflix and it's really good. It's with Adam Sandler and, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the girl's name. Jennifer Lawrence, I think. Actually, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. No, it's Jennifer Aniston, I think. The next question is, do you have any irrational fears? Probably. Let me think. I have so many fears. Like, I'm afraid of a lot of things. <laughs> like, but I don't think any of them are irrational. <laughs> no, there probably are some. I just can't think. This oven has been running for like forever, it feels like. I feel like I've been trying to put these cookies together for like five hours. Almost done. Okay. What are your favorite kind of fireworks? The big boom, sparkly ones, etc. That's actually really fitting. It's almost the 4th of July. Actually, I think when this is uploaded, the 4th of July will be over. Hope everyone had a good 4th of July. But my favorite ones are probably like, it like explodes and then like all the individual little dots each do a mini explosion. Like they like kind of sizzle. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the one I like the best. That's a very interesting, fun question. Okay, my arm's breaking, I'm done. Now I just have to add the chocolate chips. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be back. Last up, we need two cups of chocolate chips. Next question, are there any books you wish would get turned into shows or movies? Yes, literally, I feel like, honestly, a lot of books, like any five star book I read, or like even four stars, like so many books I wish could just be a movie because I feel like it'd be so cool to like see it come to life. Like, oh my gosh, Akatar. Honestly, actually, I don't think Akatar would be a good show or movie. I don't think they could recreate that in video form. So maybe not Akatar, but I think fantasy is a little different. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's a little harder to do fantasy, but like a lot of the rom-coms I've read, I think would be really cool movies. Yeah, I feel like any rom-com book should be a movie. Cause I feel like it'd be so cute to see. I'm trying to think of like a specific one that I really want to be a movie. I feel like everything I'm thinking, I'm realizing there already are movies or shows of them. What's a book I read recently? <laughs> Why is my brain just blank? Like all Emily Henry's books would be good movies. Oh, I know, Malibu Rising. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. So her book, um, Carrie Soto's Back would be good. Honestly, like any book, like I just love adaptations. Well, that's not true. Sometimes they are bad, but like they're still fun to like see it come to life. 
you know? I feel like my favorite adaptation is The Summer I Turn Pretty. I feel like they did such a good job with that, and I didn't even like those books, but, like, the movie, or the show, is, like, honestly so good for no reason. I don't even think I really answered that question very well, but that's my answer. <laughs> also, I sampled a little bit of the batter off my fingers, and it tastes normal, so I don't think the dark brown sugar did too much damage. <laughs> Now we've got our cookie dough batter, so we're going to shape it onto a tray and then bake it. I feel like I've been doing this for five hours. Last question, do you prefer birds or rodents? I used to have hamsters and guinea pigs and like I love them, but like I don't know why I wanted those because I absolutely hate like mice rats rodents like i don't like rodents so probably birds but i did like my hamsters but if i had to choose now like if i had to have a pet between those two i would definitely rather have a pet bird than a pet rodent i've had my enough rodents in my time <laughs> i don't think i could have another one those are all the questions so again thank you to the two people who asked me questions it really means a lot like a lot so i really appreciate it all right i'll be back because i've been filming for like half an hour. I'm gonna give my phone a little break. Be for real. My job just called and asked if, asked if I can come in tonight. What? Are you being for real? Are you being for real? From five to midnight, they have an event. I'm not saying till midnight. I'll say till 10, but I don't wanna go in. Are we being serious right now? That's the last thing I wanna do. No. Oh. Like actually going and ruining my night. But now I feel guilty to say no. Cause like for real, like what am I actually doing at home? Not much, but like I was gonna help set up for my sister's grad party. Like let's be real. Why did they have to ask me today of all days? I just asked my mom if she needs me. If she says she doesn't, I guess I'll go. But if she needs me, then I'm telling them I can't. So no, I didn't wash my uniform even. Didn't they have told me this like a while ago? Oh my god, these cookies look really big. I think I did them too big, but that's okay. They look good. Guys, I'm gonna cry. My mom said I can go. I don't wanna go. I think they need more time. It says when they just are turning brown. I feel like these aren't brown. They might be a little different since I used white or dark brown sugar, actually. Now that I think about it. I'm actually gonna cry. I do not wanna go to work. Alright, I'm taking them out. They don't look done, though. <laughs> I'll do like 30 more seconds. I'm so bad with this too. I don't take them out at the right time. My mom just said they like you, you do good work. That's not why they asked me to come in, Bessie. Ugh, I don't want to go in. Like, I do not want to go in. The cookies are coming out. They still don't even look done, but I don't even care at this point. I'm gonna finish baking the rest of the cookies. They probably are raw. Yay! All right, well, so much for my chill day at home. I'm going to work from 5 to 10. Yay! I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, anyway, the cookies actually turned out really good looking. They're not, I don't think they're underbaked, hopefully. Second batch in there. I definitely did not make as much as the recipe said. I think I made about 26, but you know, it's fine. It's better than 16. Just had to put my laundry in because I have to wash my uniform. Okay. Well, anyway, it's almost 1 o'clock. I'm going to make some lunch after these cookies are at 11. And I'll talk to you guys later because I've been filming for like 50 years. I have about an hour to have to leave for work. So I'm going to eat a snack, sit and just vegetate for the next hour and like listen to a podcast and just chill. Cause I have been nonstop just running around. I just folded all the laundry. I vacuumed my room, both the bathrooms and the family room. And I just need to chill for a little. Like, it'd be fine if my job wasn't literally like bussing and cleaning and all that. Like, that's what I've been doing all day. I don't feel like doing that for five more hours straight. It's fine. At least I'm making money. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna eat this apple. This is a cosmic crisp apple. My sister and I are like in our apple era, so we just like buy tons of apples every time we go to the grocery store. So we have like a million in the fridge. Um, they're just like the perfect snack, especially in like summer. They're nice and cold and like crispest. And I also have 
honey roasted peanut butter to eat with it, which is literally the best thing ever. So that's just what I'm gonna eat. I'm kind of sad. I was like looking forward to making dinner tonight, eating at home, and making a nice Caesar salad with sweet potato fries. But that is just not gonna happen anymore. I mean, I'm really grateful that they provide us with a meal, a meal at work, like a free meal. It's like nice, but I was really looking forward to just eating and watching a YouTube video and not being forced to eat in 15 minutes. Like, there's no way that's good for me. Like, they literally consume the food in 10 minutes, like an entire meal. <laughs> is now sunday oh my gosh yesterday was just like i was dead and like this morning i was so dead like last night just like was like my last straw like the fact that i had to work really just was not it but yeah i was just very tired this morning but then i went on a walk i showered i ate breakfast and now i feel a lot better like i feel like i just needed some food and like now i just feel more awake so I'm feeling good. My mom and sister just set up this table in here. We were gonna put it outside. We might still bring it outside. I don't really know, but just in case, cause it did rain this morning and it's supposed to rain a little bit later. So everything's like all wet, which is kind of annoying. But I mean, this table's fine cause it's under the awning and whatever. But that table back there is like a little wet. We don't want to bring that out yet cause it's still gonna rain, I think again at some point. So we might bring it out later though, like right before her party starts. But it's also, it's fine in here also. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's also freezing in there. I don't know, like my mom has the air blasting. I have like a checklist of stuff that I need to get done though. So I have to chop the veggies, chop the fruit, and like make a fruit bowl and make a veggie tray. My dad's gonna bring some ice. We're gonna put it in a bucket and put all the drinks in it but the main things i want to do is the fruit main things i want to do is the fruit and veggies so i might do that right now all right so i have all the veggies chopped up and put in little bags so we can put that out like at the last second and then the fruit bowl is in there it's looking really good i hate that this event is at three o'clock because i'm like is this lunch or is this dinner? If I'm hungry, I'll eat. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I might try to see if there's any decorations I can set up. It literally just started like storming. So I'm just gonna like set up some things. I don't really know what, but. Oh my God, then I saw Niall. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So it's currently 1.52, so people should be here in about an hour, which is crazy. My mom and sister get off work at two, so. It's very tight, but it's okay. My dad just dropped off ice. These are two of them. Two of them are in the freezer. I think my mom wants me to put the two outside in this bucket thing we have, and then the other two in the freezer. I don't know. I asked her. I'm gonna start putting out some of this stuff soon, and yeah. All her gifts. Time to unbox them. The grad party was a success. How much fun did you have? Your foot. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Did you have a blast? Mm -hmm. It was great. It actually wasn't awkward, surprisingly. But I'm happy it's over. It started downpouring in the middle of it, but thankfully we left the table inside, so it wasn't a big deal. But it was fun. That's all. I'm dreading work tomorrow, but I just have to get through that, and then I'm off for the next three days. I can't believe it's almost the 4th of July. Right, but I, I can't have another big event. <laughs> well, goodbye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.